And I was just casually checking my email and I saw, oh, admi a letter from admissions of Cornell that opens like, congratulations. And I was actually at work. I was like, okay, I have to call my mom right now. <laughs> My name is Kelly Howes and I go to the high school for math, science, and engineering at City College and I'm currently 17 years old. So in total I applied to 22 colleges and I got into 21. I was waitlisted at Stanford. But I did get into all eight Ivy Leagues and a couple other really good colleges like MIT, Tufts, Howard. I was born in Guyana so for the first 11 years of my life I was, I was raised in a small village. I was 11 years old when I first moved to America and I lived in Brooklyn, New York with my auntie. And at first it was a bit difficult moving from such a small village to like such a big city. I really didn't know my neighbors at all. I remember one time I was like riding my bike through Brooklyn and then I saw this woman sitting on her stoop and I was like, oh good afternoon auntie, just because I was accustomed to that. She looked at me like, what? <laughs> On a typical day, I wake up at 5.30. I try to leave my house by 6.20. I get to school maybe around 7.45. In total, I have four classes. And then around 11 o'clock, I leave to go to Mount Sinai Hospital. I leave the lab around 2.30. And then I usually have some type of extracurricular or mentorship to do after. In my class, I'm most likely the only black student there. I will be the first person in my family to finish college. In college, I'm mostly looking forward to the classes that I'm going to be able to take. So hopefully, I'll be able to I'll be able to study pre-med in college and go to medical school, go to a really good medical school. My long-term goal is to become a neurosurgeon. So I think there are definitely going to be obstacles and definitely going to be people that don't think I can do it just because I'm black or just because I'm a woman. But I'm definitely going to prove them wrong. I'm going to try my best to prove them wrong.